Hey guys, welcome to easyliving.com. Now today we're going to be talking about wine tasting. Don't get afraid, because even if you are a newbie, we've come up with a few steps that you can do to at least fake it to look like a wine connoisseur. So without further ado, here are the five S's to trying wine. So the first S in wine tasting is C. Now the stem on a wine glass is a mystery to a lot of people. It's not just to hold the wine, but there's two reasons. Yeah. One is so you can hold it by the stem so you don't transfer heat to your chilled wine. And the other is so you can tilt it over a little bit and you can see the mm. color of the wine. Hold up your wine to a light at a 45 degree angle and observe it. See the colors, see the essence of the vino. The second S is swill. Remember, hold your glass by the wine stem and give it a nice swirl around. If you don't feel comfortable doing this, hold it against the table so that you don't spill the wine everywhere. Bam. This is to aerate the wine and release the scents that the bouquet has. The third S is smell the wine. Stick your nose in the glass and delicious. And think about the words that describe that smell and then tell everybody. Yeah. The fourth S is sip the wine. Now this is the best part of wine tasting. Once you've swirled it around and taken a deep breath, take a nice small sip. Now, don't be afraid to breathe in some air with the wine still in your mouth. Yes, you're gonna make some funny noises, but this is all part of wine tasting and it in fact makes you look more professional. So hold the wine in your mouth and don't be afraid to go like this. The reason why you do that is so that you coat the entire mouth with the wine and get different tastes because in different parts of your mouth you will experience different sensations. Like at the back of your mouth we a lot more citrusy compared to the top of your mouth which will get the sweeter tastes. The last S is summarize. Don't be afraid to talk to everybody around you about the wine that you just tasted. That is what it's there for. Yeah. So if somebody questions you while you're going Tell them you have this to back yourself up and make yourself look good. Use words that are descriptive, like wet grass. Wet grass wet is grass. good. How about wet cedar? Wet cedar? Mm. Pine. Pine. Delicious. Wood. When it comes to wine tasting, there is no shortage of words that you can use to make yourself look more elegant and more professional. So those are the five S's of wine tasting. Don't forget to use them when you're in the company of other people and you're tasting that amazing vino. Don't forget to like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks guys for watching, and remember, it's not easy, it's not easy living.